Hey everyone, today we have what is hopefully the conclusion of the Philip Mewson story. Philip Mewson is a former uh, Nintendo editor at IGN who plagiarized Boomstick Gaming's Dead Cells review. Almost exactly word for word a vast majority of that review. Uh, he then proceeded to deny that he ever did it and on top of it insinuated that how he created that review is how everybody, both YouTube and IGN and Kotaku and everyone else creates their reviews. And then he even dared Jason Schreier from Kotaku and the rest of the internet to inform him about any other instances he may have plagiarized in his past on his YouTube channel, Philip, basically stating that I have never done this before. And turns out he has done it many times times and again he did a non-apology video and took no responsibility and threw everyone else under the bus and then when he started making youtube videos again and he references it one more time he mentioned hey i uh i basically have learned nothing <laughs> that's pretty much the summary of what happened at the beginning of his first normal youtube video back but today actually really yesterday he put up an apology video uh it is just titled my apology and i figured I've already watched it, so I already know what it says. It's only 2 minutes and 12 seconds long, but I figured we should watch it and I can commentate on my thoughts on it because this is, at least on the surface, a good apology. It's 8 months later than this apology should have happened, and based on other things he said, I don't think that you should just take this apology and think all is right in the world of Philip Mewson. But we will get into that in a moment. Let's watch this apology together. All right, so before we hop into the apology, I think the first thing to note here is it does have an 81% like to dislike ratio, which for one of my videos would be pretty bad. But compared to the video from three months ago, 11%, 14%, 22%. So obviously, he must have actually said something sincere, or at least seemingly sincere, or at least what people want to hear. So let's just get into it. I do love his, his thumbnail, though, so it just says my apology. Uh, so let's go. Let's click on it. And let, let's, let's have hey, it. everyone. I'm not here to make any excuses or to try and justify my actions. I'm only here to apologize to the people that I've wronged and to everyone that I've disappointed. I'd like to start out by saying I'm sorry, Boomstick Gaming, for taking words and concepts from your Dead Cells review and passing them off as my own. It was an incredibly selfish act and as a fellow content creator, I should have known better. I realize the amount of time and effort that you must have put into creating such an elaborate and well thought out review, and I can only imagine how violated you must have felt when you realized what had happened. All right, so this is what he should have said eight months ago. The moment he was busted, he should have came out and said this, uh, but he didn't. He denied that he did anything wrong in the first place. Only now, after eight months, I guess, of reflection, does he realize how violated Boomstick Gaming must have felt. Now, I don't feel bad for Boomstick Gaming anymore because Boomstick Gaming uh, basically had everything done right for him that should have happened in a situation like this. Number one, IGN contacted Boomstick Gaming and paid him for that work that appeared on IGN's website. So he actually did get a monetary payment from IGN for that work. Two, his channel blew up. His channel was smaller than mine when this happened. And now I think he's actually at 100,000 or more subscribers. He absolutely blew up over this situation because he not only creates really good work and really good reviews so good that ign or at least a former ign editor decided to steal it so good for him i'm wishing him all the success in the world he seems to be doing very well for himself maybe unexpectedly so but at that time we can't forget at the time despite all this rapid success for boomstick gaming it was not a pretty situation uh, he put up a video comparing his review and Philip Mewson's, basically asking his community, what the heck do I do about this? He didn't have a lot of money. He wasn't going to be able to afford lawyers or anything. Like, what does he do when the biggest video game website in the world steals your work? Like, what can you do in a situation when you're not well enough off to necessarily take this into legal hands? And thankfully, the internet had his back and the right thing ended up happening at the end of the day. Uh, Philip Mewson did lose his job and they did pay Boomstick Gaming. So it just ultimately worked out. But it is sad that it took something like this for people to even notice Boomstick Gaming because he is a content creator that absolutely deserved attention without this sort of 
um, having to have someone basically be destroyed over it. All right, so let's let's continue with the rest of this apology. He's got way more to apologize to than just Boonstick Gaming. He has plagiarized from several different places. Um, I do feel like he needs to apologize to Jason Schreier for trying to throw him under the bus, uh, even though he was in the wrong the whole time. I do think he also needs to apologize to the whole of the Nintendo community uh, for you know basically acting like all of us do it this way. And um, I know for a fact already that he doesn't apologize to everyone that I mentioned. So let's get, let's get into this apology even more. I'd also like to apologize to Nintendo Life, Nintendo Wire, and Gadget, and Polygon for using their words and ideas in a few of my videos. Specifically, Nintendo Life for my FIFA 18 review, Nintendo Wire for my Fire Emblem Heroes preview, and Gadget for my Samus Returns review, and Polygon for my Bayonetta preview. Lastly, I'd like to apologize to everyone at IGN for essentially dragging them under the bus with me. Obviously, they got a lot of hate for what I did, but please understand that I am the only person at fault here. I'm truly sorry for any turbulence that this must have caused in your personal lives because you all deserve much better than this. Once again, it was selfish of me to think that I could take from my peers and pass their ideas off as my own. So he apologizes to IGN. And Nintendo Life, Nintendo Wire, a few other places that he actually has direct plagiarism from, which, again, that's him owning up to his mistakes. Good for him. Uh, but he didn't apologize to Kotaku or the rest of the Nintendo community or the rest of the editors out there or reviewers that he threw under the bus. He is not apologizing for the excuses he made. He's apologizing for the actions that led to the excuses, right? And I feel like... That is only one part of what an apology should be. He doesn't just owe an apology to people he stole content from. He owes an apology to the reputation of other writers he tried to throw under the bus. Not through his actions as a writer and as a journalist, but through his reaction to being busted and saying, everybody does this. He's not apologizing for that. And as a content creator that was offended at the time, I'm still offended that he is not addressing that very real thing that he did. Um, but whatever, he's at least addressing what got us to that point, and that is the fact that Philip Mewson has been plagiarizing content for years. And it's not okay. It's just not okay. And I understand the negative impact that this entire plagiarism scandal has had on, on the community, and that's entirely on me. But I hope that at the very least, it'll serve as a reminder for anyone who's looking to break into the industry not to make the same mistakes that I did. I'm not expecting to be forgiven and for everything to magically get better. I understand that that doesn't happen overnight and sometimes forgiveness doesn't happen at all. And that's okay. So while I know that I can't say anything to change what I did, I hope that this can at least give these amazing creators the closure that they deserve. I truly am very very sorry. I will never again try to pass someone else's words or ideas off as my own. I will be better. I will be original. Thank you. All right. So I will give him as much credit as this. If he had done this video eight months ago, I think he'd be in a much better place, both mentally, both as a channel, and it might have actually come across as being sincere. Uh, the issue I'm going to have with this entire apology is... The reactions that people are having to it, more so than the apology itself, because this was a needed step for Philip Mewson to ever be successful on YouTube again. He had to own his mistakes and admit to them and promise he's going to be better. He didn't detail how he's going to be better about it, how his processes are going to change. He didn't go into detailing the processes that led to him plagiarizing. I really wish that he would go in more depth, be open, be honest. And maybe that's just because that's who I am, and I try to be as transparent as I can with you guys about my process of content creation, about how I do research, and about how I sometimes get things wrong, and how that happens, and why it happened, and why maybe it was just me rushing things, and I screwed up. Um, I believe in full transparency, especially when you make a massive mistake. And needless to say, this wasn't just a massive mistake. He was a serial plagiarist, which is very, very immoral, let alone just wrong. You should not steal other people's content. It can be deemed illegal, and there can be legal repercussions beyond just losing a job. So I honestly think that Philip Mewson did the, what he needed to do eight months ago, 
And then fo- what he needed to do after that is follow it up with more explanations, which we're probably not going to get. Um, honestly, my issue, though, is just how people have reacted. Um, everyone seems pretty quick to just forgive him. And that is your prerogative, and I can't tell you how to personally feel about this situation. What I can tell you is you're welcome to forgive him, but that doesn't mean you should trust him. This is someone who stole other people's work for his own benefit. This is someone who made money off of other people's work for his own benefit. This is someone who even after being caught red-handed denied that he ever did anything wrong. This is someone who after being caught red-handed challenged a respected journalist in Jason Schreier, someone who does do research at Kotaku to find other pieces of plagiarism because they don't exist. And then when they were found, denied that those were actual pieces of plagiarism. This is someone who, when he came to apologize, it wasn't even an apology. He didn't call it an apology. He just explained his thought process and basically said, everybody creates reviews this way. I did nothing wrong. This is someone who hasn't done anything original to get to where he is today. Yes, not every video he's ever made has been plagiarized. But a lot of the videos that help him gain notoriety, a lot of the videos that gained him the most subscribers, were the ones that he stole. This isn't me saying that Philip is a bad person on the whole, right? This isn't me saying that he doesn't deserve a second, third, fourth, fifth chance, whatever chance you guys want to think that this is. This doesn't mean that he is done as a YouTube content creator. He's a very good video editor. Even if he uses pre-built transitions, whatever, not all of us can figure out the best way to use those transitions, including me. So he deserves credit for being a very good video editor, a very good presenter. He obviously takes better care of his health than I do, so he looks better on camera. Um, and he just, in general, has a more professional way of presenting his videos. Kind of professionalism you usually see in channels that are much larger, and that has probably helped him garner the 60,000 or so uh, you know, subscribers he has garnered. But that all being said, what matters more than all of that? The editing, the presentation, um, the, the you know, patterns of speech, how you, what you look like on camera, all the B-roll he uses, what matters more than all of that, which is all presentation, is the content. And I'm here to tell you guys right now, late or not, I'm glad this apology exists. It's better that it exists than not existing. It humanizes him a little bit, and it's in the best interest of him to put out this apology, uh, maybe either because he actually does regret all these things, or or for the simple fact that he should be doing this to advance his own career. So because of this, we need to not trust Philip Mewson's words. Because after all, trusting him and trusting his words is what got him into this problem in the first place. So we can't trust what he said in this apology. We can't trust that he won't plagiarize again. All he can do at this point is prove us wrong in the content he does make. And it's going to take a long time because, again, he wasn't plagiarizing every video he ever made in the past. So it's going to take a while. But what I do want to caution everyone who just happens to like Philip, and even those who hate him, is you can give him a chance. But please don't just blindly forgive someone for something that they haven't proven they've learned anything from yet at this point. This is someone who kept making videos despite being dislike bombed, despite never addressing everything, and despite throwing everyone else under the bus but himself. This is someone who only after a, you know, a numerous amount of videos, new videos he put out got bombed and he was growing and losing subscribers, stopped doing it, waiting for a little bit to put out an apology video. This is someone who probably thinks now that this apology video is out, now that it has a nice like to dislike ratio, that he could just go back to making videos like he always has been. And I think he should do that, but I also think we all should be cautious of ever trusting him again. He has a lot of trust to earn back, and I don't know if he ever will earn back that trust. What he did, Plagiarism is one of the worst things you can do in this industry to steal other people's work and not just steal their work, right? Like not just re-upload a video, but to steal their work and claim it as your own original work. 
is one of the worst things you could do. Content creators don't need to be told not to do this. It's common sense. And I'm someone who doesn't have a lot of common sense, and I even know this much. So at the end of the day, Philip Mewson is an excellent video editor, an excellent presenter, but I still have yet to see Philip Mewson, the I have original content idea kind of guy that he claims he's going to be. I've seen Philip Mewson, the I know how to spit out and regurgitate content that other people are doing. I want to see Philip Mewson, the originator. And again, maybe it's in there. Maybe he has that creative bone to him. I don't know. What I do know is I get a little sickening seeing some people I even respect going out on Twitter and saying all these nice things about Philip. And look, I don't know Philip the person, but Philip the content creator, this is step one. It could be an organized step. It could be fake. He might not mean anything he's saying. He might just go back to plagiarizing in a few years. What I am telling you is it's okay if you want to give him a chance now, but it's not okay for you to blindly trust everything he's doing. He has been through hell and back. I agree on this front. But it was his own self-created hell. And when you create your own hell, it's hard to feel bad for you. You had numerous, numerous chances to make it less helpful for yourself. And you just stick dig in your own grave. So Philip Mewson, mad respect to your abilities as a content creator. But you didn't apologize to me and any of the other Nintendo creators for the reputation you caused harm of for ruining many of our own chances to ever break into the industry with an IGN or a Kotaku uh, without a journalism degree. You ruined that for us. You didn't apologize for that. You didn't apologize to Jason Schreier. In this video, you apologize to the things that are definitively proven that you plagiarized. There are numerous other things, by the way, that are speculated that you plagiarized that you didn't address. Why? Because it's not definitive. You have a long way still to go, Philip, and I wish you luck. And I hope you heed my advice that this better be sincere and you better prove it with your content moving forward because honestly, nobody, and I sincerely mean this, nobody should trust you until you earn back that trust. This is a nice first step. Let's see what happens next. Anyways, that's going to be the last video I think I ever make on Philip Mewson unless he happens to plagiarize again. And then I'll probably mention, hey, look, see, he didn't learn anything. Uh, but hopefully things go well for him. Uh, in terms of him just making original content. Uh, obviously, the apology video has led to him losing even more subscribers, like a ton of them, like 300 over the past two days, uh, just because too little, too late. That's the way a lot of people are going to feel. It's too little, too late. Um, and I appreciate that the video exists. It needs to exist. But the reason it needs to exist isn't because he owes people an apology. The reason it needs to exist is because without making a video like this, he's never going to get back to being able to make content the way he was before, where everyone loved Philip. Uh, and I think he desperately wants to get back to that. So we need to be extremely wary about this apology and about his promise of original content moving forward. I mean, so be sure to enter our Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros. Ultimate giveaway through the Gleam.io link down in the description. It is absolutely free to enter. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And you guys let me know if you want me to do more discussion pieces like this where I kind of grab something happening in the Nintendo community. Maybe it's another Nintendo YouTuber. Maybe it's just something, you know, a fan movement. And just talk about it because I'm really interested in these topics and I talk a lot about them on live streams and people bring it up. But I don't make a lot of individual videos on it. So um, let me know what you think about it. I, I honestly enjoyed making this video. And I hope you enjoyed listening to it. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video.